hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video it is all about sleep training this is one of the topics that i got asked to do a video about honestly i'm excited to talk about it because it has changed our life it took five days that's it to get him into a sleep routine it was a game changer for us because we knew exactly when he was going to take his naps we knew exactly when he was going to go down for the, for the night it just made sense for us and our lifestyle to have him sleep trained i know it's not for everyone and i understand every household is different I totally get that but i just want to share you know our experience with sleep training and how we did it and how it ended up working on us when he was only six months old anyways let me just get into it because that's why you clicked on the video so i'm going to give you my three tips on how to sleep train your baby my my disclaimer is I am not a professional on this. These tips that I'm giving you from uh, books, from just Google searching, from watching other videos on YouTube. I did a lot of research and for the most part, everybody had kind of the same idea. So for tip number one are the items that you will need to be successful in sleep training. So you will need a good swaddle, a very good swaddle, one that they will not escape from, but invest in more than one, probably like two or three. So if they get dirty, if they have a blowout, you have one to substitute it with. The next item that you will need is a sound machine. You can invest in a portable sound machine that works too or you can invest in a bigger sound machine you can connect it to your phone just like your own schedule on the hatch which is awesome and you can turn it on and off from your phone so the next item that you will need are blackout curtains or blackout shades any type of thing that you could put in front of the window to completely make it dark in the room definitely investing in blackout shades is totally worth it as soon as you close those shades they'll associate that with okay it's time to go to sleep another thing with daytime naps when you're starting off sleep training them you don't want their daytime naps to extend more than two hours at a time so if your child is currently taking two naps during the day don't let him or her sleep for more than two hours for each of those naps because if they end up sleeping longer during the day then they're gonna sleep less at night okay so tip number two is getting them to self soothe I know this specific one is super touchy because immediately when you think of sleep training you think of the crying it out method no it doesn't always have to be that way you don't always have to let them just cry themselves to sleep completely there is a middle ground which is what we ended up using so the middle ground is when you're first starting off you're in the room and then they start crying or they're whining or something pause pause for a little bit and wait five minutes to see if they stop crying sometimes they wake up and they're whining or they're crying but they're still kind of sleeping they end up falling back asleep on their own and if you would have went in there and picked them up now they know every single time that they cry you're going to be going in there and picking them up you want to get to the point where you end up only just putting them in the bed when they're still awake but sleepy but still awake and you leave them there and you walk away if they don't stop crying you go in there but you don't pick them up you rock them back and forth with your hand on their stomach just rock them back and forth most of the time that'll do the trick and they'll end up falling back asleep so then say they fall back asleep you leave in a couple of hours and they start crying again do the same exact thing pause wait five minutes they don't stop crying after that amount of time then you go back in there and you do the same thing don't pick them up just rock them back and forth with your hand on their belly and you want to keep doing that basically every single time they wake up until it's officially morning time for you which is whatever time that you normally want them to wake up for the second night instead of only waiting five minutes, you wanna up that to 10 minutes. Every single night after that, you add on another five minutes. Most of the time though, you won't have to go past 15 minutes, which I know 15 minutes when they're crying, whoo, it is a long time, I get it. But if they are fed, if their diaper isn't wet, and you know that they're good, then all that they want is for you to pick them up, their cry is gonna sound a little bit different. It can take long for a child to break out of a habit and to create a new one. So you want them to get into the habit of self-soothing themselves without you going in there and picking them up every five minutes, basically. So future me editing this realized that I forgot to mention one thing. So if you do have to go in there to change their diaper or to feed them, don't turn the lights on, don't make it like an enjoyable time almost make it more business like like don't make them laugh don't start smiling nothing just go in there change your diaper give them the bottle put them back down and then walk out so that way you're not waking them up completely and them thinking it's time to play just wanted to add that tip number three is consistency you have to be consistent with it at every nap time every day that they go down to sleep you have to do the same exact thing every single time go in there you turn the white noise on you put down the blackout shade you wrap them in the swaddle and you put them in the bed and you walk away you do that every single time. Just being consistent, I promise you within a few days, 
to a week, maybe a couple weeks, depending on your child. It might take a while, but they will get it. The only fault in this one tip is when they're going through a sleep regression at three weeks, three months, six months. I think it goes all the way up to, I don't even know. I don't even know when it ends, but they do go through sleep regressions. So when they are going through sleep regressions, your routine is gonna go out of whack for a few weeks until they're out of that sleep regression and then they'll kind of like bounce right back into the routine that they had before. Okay, so a bonus tip is pay attention to your child's wake windows. So wake windows are basically the amount of hours that a child can stay awake until they should probably take a nap or until they should probably go to sleep. The wake windows range depending on their age. So for example, Melina is four months. So her wake window right now is anywhere between 45 minutes to three hours. Right now, she needs a certain amount of hours of sleep versus a certain amount of hours that she needs to be awake. So if you calculate that, then you know how long the naps during the day need to be. And then you could just split it up. They need to get 16 hours of sleep which is 12 hours at night, four hours during the day, but they have to be awake eight hours during the day. So you wanna set it up. So that way they're awake for three hours, they take a two hour nap. They're awake for three hours and then they take a two hour nap and then it's down for the night. I don't know if that made sense, but right now Ezekiel is on a strict wake window schedule. Sometimes he does not take his nap. He's kind of like dropping the nap slowly and that's fine. Right now his wake window is 12 to 13 hours. So that means I have a good 10 to 12 hours of sleep that I can play with. So if he didn't take his nap during the day, and he woke up at eight o'clock in the morning, he is gonna go to sleep at 6.30. But if he does take his nap, then I'll push back his bedtime to eight, 8.30, depending on how long he took his nap. So if he only took an hour and a half nap, then I'll push it back an hour and a half. So that way we're still keeping up with the same kind of routine, just playing with the hours, depending on what kind of day he had, if he was a little bit more tired or less tired. Definitely look into your child's wake window. That could be another way for you to sleep train him or her. Well guys, that's all that I have for you. I hope this video was super informative. I really tried to go into a little bit of detail and if I I missed anything just leave a comment down below i'll be glad to answer any questions i have done this with ezekiel faithfully for the past year and a half he's about to be two years old next month and i've been doing it with melina for about a month now i hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe every comment every like helps as always i appreciate your love and support and i'll see you guys in my next video